I'll see if I can turn on a light. I'll look for Daniel. Ray? Yeah? A lot of parts of the corridor are broken or cracked. How are we gonna fix it? Well, hopefully it's just the corridor. We're gonna have to work extra hard, but it'll turn back to the way it used to be. Like the old times. Uh, Ray? Yeah? Bro, I think I've just found Daniel. heading out when a tripod shot through the base cracks started appearing in the structure and that's all I remember well when we found you you were under rubble and that was three days ago wait three days what's happened since is everyone all right from the battle This was one of the biggest battles yet. Yeah, it's left us with loads of casualties. There's still people missing as well. Over here is our makeshift infirmary. It's only the people that were closest to the base that we could get over here. We have another infirmary at Kilo Base 1. It's where we have the lookout. It's not ideal if another tripod attack happens though. It'll be harder to get people over. There's a lot of debris around. It's going to take some time to clear it all out just to make sure there's no people underneath. Ah, uh, but Daniel, you are, you don't need to worry about that. Is there anybody being looked after in sight? Well, we've got some people out here. A lot of people are being looked after in the Kilometre One lookout and we've got a small number of people inside. By the way, let's put the heavy back. Thanks. What are the White Mountains? Hey, 
How do you know about that? You were talking about them in your sleep. Oh, well, it's just this thing that old Winston told me about. Well, I'll tell you more about it later, but... Hang on. Where's old Winston? Old Winston got injured. We've taken him inside to get looked after. Daniel, where are you going? I've had better days, but all things considered, no, I'm pretty good. So what brings you here, my boy? Well, I was wondering if you could tell me any more about the White Mountains. Oh, yeah, sure. Where, where shall we start? How do you get there? Yeah, good question. Well, you have to walk from here, right? And you have to walk down to the coast. And at the coast, you'll get a boat, and you go down to Kapiti Island, and you meet a bloke called Jimmy, or Jim as he likes to be called, and he'll take it from there. What does this Jim guy have to do with it? Well, Jim was in the Navy for quite a long time, and then he left, don't quite why, um, and he became a, well, I think what they call a rogue blue jacket. But sometime after the tripods arrived, he stole a boat, you know, a big boat, a ferry, and now he takes people from one side of the world to the other. Where exactly are the mountains? Well, they're near France and somewhere near Switzerland. However, uh, sorry, I don't have a map of Europe, but when you get to Jim, he'll give you one, right? Now, I do have some coordinates. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, I've got a map here. Sort you out to get you from here to the coast. Now, ah, really important, you must not tell anyone. Why is that? If you do, then that person will tell some other person, and they'll tell another person, and eventually it'll get back to the captain. Look, if you do tell someone, you have to be absolutely certain you can trust them. Uh, but, mate, you've got to be really careful because even if the information doesn't get to the captain, it could get to the tripods and then they'd know where the White Mountains are and you wouldn't want that, would you? No. I've got a compass and I'll give that to you later. But um, you'll know when it's the right time to go. Surely when you heard about the White Mountains, you just wanted to go there right away. Well, you know, boy, I'm, I'm an old fella now. And uh, people like me don't have that much time left. Uh, it's you, it's only you young fellas that have the strength and the courage uh, to make a difference. After all, I suppose it's your future on the line. Okay, I'll do my best to get there. Well, I'm very pleased to hear that. Hey, listen, are you going to be okay here? Yeah, 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 I'll be fine. Should be released in a few days. That's good. Just remember, boy, look after yourself and, you know, I'll be fine.
We've lost too many people already, and we can't afford to lose any more. And because of this, nobody's allowed to leave the base. Quiet! But what about the supplies? At this point, the only people that are allowed to leave the base are those in the food and clothing supply groups, and another group that I'll be talking about soon. Unless you're in any of those groups, you are not allowed to leave the base. Now the other group that is allowed to go out is the defence team. Now we've assigned them an area to observe that we know the tripods pass through. But we're not going to take any action yet because we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. We need to find a good strategy before we take any action. Right, meeting dismissed. Come on team, we're going to get ready for tomorrow. Well, when you got old Winston to cheer me up, he told me about this place in France called the White Mountains. It's a lot safer than here, and there are no tripods. He's given me a map to take me to this man called Jimmy. He's a rogue blue jacket. He went AWOL from the Navy. What if this is a completely made up story and he was just telling you this to, you know, make you feel better? What? Why would he be lying? He gave me a map. What if this place doesn't exist? You'd be travelling there for nothing! I thought you were coming too. What if this place doesn't exist? <sighs> What's this? Daniel was told by old Winston that there's this place near France that's safe, with no tripods. But, that's impossible. There's tripods all around the world. How do you know a place like this exists? That's exactly what I said. Besides, it's really stupid to travel that far, especially since you don't know what's out there or how many tripods there will be between here and there. You could easily get caught and capped. We're not gonna get brainwashed by the tripods. You don't know that. You could even get killed. We don't know what happened to the rest of the world. Yes, but we've got to at least try. I can't stand it here anymore. We can't even leave now. We've got to at least hope that there's a place out there. Point still stands. You don't know if it's worth it. Are you willing to take that risk? Even though it's unlikely that this place exists, I'll still go. Right, well we should start planning first thing tomorrow. They destroyed so much of my life. I don't even know who I am anymore. My brother died when it was just the beginning. I don't even remember what he looks like anymore. They say that there's light within the dark. But what if that light's gone? That's where I've got to do it. That's where I've got to make an attempt to stop them. <laughs> I go a bit earlier to check out the area that the tripods pass through to get a better understanding on why they want to use that bit of land. Yes, good idea. So that's how we could escape. We're not going to be able to get out of here by ourselves. We need someone that can help us. Like Ray. What? No. He won't help us. Didn't you hear him yesterday? He thinks it's a stupid idea. He definitely won't help us. Yes, but he's our friend. He's not the kind of person that will tell the captain that we're leaving to go to the other side of the world. Yeah. I guess we have no choice, really. This will do it. This will make a difference. could have used that land to pass through without being noticed. Yeah, that could be a possibility.
look, it looks like there's a black guard down there and two others. This must mean this could be a capigram. Yes, they're here. You should help us. I mean, surely you have a good way out of here. You can help us get to Carpenter Island. Alright, I'll help you. Not because you asked, but because you're my mates. And don't go blaming me if there's no such thing as the Five Mountains. Thanks, Ray. We won't blame you. Right, show me the map. Right, so we're here. You need to find a way to get to Capiti Island. Has this got something to do with you? It is, isn't it? Holly, go and get the rocket launcher and take down that tripod. Why'd you do this? You put so many people in danger. Because I've lost everyone I know. We gotta go. There could have been another way. They deserve it. They get what's coming to them. I know they have caused a lot of damage, but you put a lot of people's lives in danger, and you will have many deaths on your hands. But I've lost a lot of people because of them. It's not all about you. You've got to think of other people as well. Report. The mission has failed. There's a tripod coming our way. Prepare everyone to fight. I repeat, prepare everyone to fight. Alright, so I'm nearly done, but that route is away with our big clusters of tripods. But just to cut the coast alone, this is at least 150 kilometers away. Are you sure you're gonna travel that far? Well, I mean... Quickly, go! Hide the mouse! Holy fire.
Oh no. More people gone. What do you think the captain will say? He'll be angry, understandably. But he probably won't talk about the good we've done here. Where are you going? To talk to old Winston, because I'm ready to leave. Already? We've only just started planning our journey to Kapiti Island. And? We can finish planning soon. Besides, this is another reason why it's not safe here anymore. I want to go before something bad like this happens again. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm just trying to visit old Winston. Ah, I guess you didn't know then. Old Winston passed away in his sleep last night. Uh, sorry I had to be the one to tell you that. What? Hey man, I think what you said is right. We should go soon. Yeah. And I'm sorry about old Winston. We gather here today to honour and remember the life of old Winston. He was a brave man who shared his wisdom freely and honestly with all of those around him. You will know when the time is right. Just a reminder that the punishment meeting will be held in one hour. Dismissed. What's happening to the captain? Not sure. He seems to be becoming more militaristic. And all these meetings? It's just getting crazy. Well, it's good for us though. We'll be able to get supplies. Yeah. I'm ready to leave tomorrow. What? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you're going to have to be very careful. I would suggest avoiding the first cap city. What? Why haven't we heard about this before? The exploration group discovered it the day before the tripod attack. The whole city's been capped and brainwashed into believing that the uh, tripods, they're like godlike deities. <sighs> no one in the town has the ability to think for themselves anymore. Do you have everything you need? I think so. I don't think you do. Do you have weapons? Do you have food? Do you have rope? No, not yet. Why do we need rope? You're going to need a few ropes because it's a good method for taking down tripods. What about food? You can easily get that in the morning. From the storage room? Just don't take too much because we're a bit low on supplies. Now, with travelling there, there will be quite a few tripods that will pass through. It will take a bit longer than usual. And you might get lost out there. Do you even have a compass? No. Old Winston said he was going to give me one when I was ready to leave. Where are we going to get one now? Hey, it's okay. I'm sure they move Old Winston's stuff into the cleaning room. But you might have to be quick before they fully seal it up into storage. Should we get them now? I mean, we probably have enough time before the, meet the next meeting starts. Uh, yeah, that sounds good, but be careful and quick. I'll get the weapons. Right, 
I'll get the compass then. Hang on, you should probably give me your bag so that if anyone sees you, you don't look suspicious. Okay, we'll grab them after this. I should probably hurry up. We've got five minutes until the meeting starts. Commencing now. Oh crap. Where should we put them? Can you look after these two? Oh, uh, yeah, just go put them in my office. Thanks. Yesterday, there was another battle with the tripods. This was caused by Carrie deliberately setting off a landmine, and the whole incident could have easily been avoided. Do you not see how much damage the tripods have caused and how many lives have been lost? Shut up! I'm not interested in what you've got to say. I think you've done enough. Your actions have consequences. We lost a lot of good people yesterday and it's the defence team's fault. But it was Kerry and- I don't care! You're in charge of the defence team so you're ultimately responsible. Kerry's a member of that team so you should have been keeping an eye on what she was doing. But you didn't and as a result, eight good people died. So you're both responsible, so you're both going to be punished. But how was I supposed to know that she was in possession of a landmine? I don't know, and I don't care. Perhaps if you did your job, you would have known. Take him away. Yeah! 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 Right, we want you all back here at 7 a.m. tomorrow to have another meeting about the rules. Obviously, some of you don't remember what those rules are. Dismissed. Thanks, Ray. Bye, Ray. I'll miss you, man. Stay safe, Dave. Yeah. I need you, Dad. See you, Ray. I hope you find peace and tranquility in the White Mountains. Wow, it's beautiful. Yeah, 
Well, this is going to be a really long journey. <laughs>